Oh, all right. So I just spent about three hours clearing out this uh, garbage can that I bought. And I just wanted to kind of show a few little things, kind of like day two of what we pulled out of there. Um, but I can't spend too much time because I got to get farm stuff done. And so yeah, anyways, I just thought I'd give a quick little update, um, kind of day by day of what's going on with this thing. And then showing some of the cool stuff that I've pulled out. Um, a lot of this stuff is going to be donated. Um, I'm going to clean it up, kind of... <laughs> throw it in a tub with bleach or something. Um, and then we're gonna donate a lot of it. Um, some of the stuff I'll probably keep, some of the stuff I'm most likely gonna sell. Um, and then there's a, a ton of stuff that's just going in the trash. So got my glove on. There's a ton of red ants over here now. I don't know, they must've smelt the goodness of this garbage and now they're over here. So anyways, let's quickly go over this stuff so I can hop on the tractor get the subsoiler from my neighbor. Thankfully he has the exact one I was gonna buy, so I don't have to buy it now. And then we'll start uh, ripping up the ground for the gardens and pastures and yada yada. Anyways, let's see what I got so far. So this is probably, this is something I'm gonna keep because I like weird books. Um, so we kind of, you know, in Arizona, the Sonoran Desert, Here's some food plants. These are brand new books. They're still in the shipping package, not even open. So it's a cool little book. And then this guy is clearly some kind of like prepper. Um, there's a lot of these survival type stuff, a lot of knives and razor blades and NRA. Um, did I say that right? NRA, whatever stuff like subscriptions and hats and shirts and stuff like that. So pretty cool. I actually like these books. They're in great condition and they were original in the packaging. Um, and they were stored on a shelf, so not really next to all the disgustingness. But as we come over here, like I said, there's a ton of red ants, so I'm going to try to get this done quickly. Tons of jeans and like brand new sheets, two drills that are garbage. Um, there's two knee pads, the other one's still in there, and then a bunch of blue solo cups not really solo brand but you know so here's kind of one of the bins why is it doing that um anyways some key rings which i could actually use so i'm pretty stoked on that some scrubbers i can use for cleaning toilets or something uh, some shower hanging rats. They were actually in the package, but broke the package. Uh, a bunch of paper clips. Box cutter. This guy has a ton of razor blades, but I mean, perfectly good condition. Some scissors. And he's got a lot of these scraping blades, too. Two dog leashes, which is nice because I actually need leashes, so throw those in the laundry. They'll be fine. My boy is actually really into Sonic right now, so. He's not, we haven't introduced video games, but I still have a PlayStation 3, so I could use this. It's actually still in good condition. Um, I've found a ton of brushes. I've thrown most of them away, but these are like pure plastic. And so, you know, just sanitize them and then they can be used as pet brushes. Lots of Harbor Freight tools. This one's not too bad, the rest of them are. Super glue, cool little sign. Um, I found like four of these lights. One still in there, one was smashed. Uh, this kind of makes me sad because these are like brand new, like little kid invites. Um, there's actually a ton of these. I threw most of them away. But it's like, man, this good dude has kids and they were living in this thing. So I don't know. Brand new can opener. Lots of tape. I've thrown most of it away. This was like in a good area. The rest of it was kind of like in a sketchy area. Um, I don't know what this is yet. I'm going to figure it out. Lots of dryer sheets. Not like this guy ever cleaned anything. Um, here's the rest of those razor blades. Some more scraping blades. A USB drive. Look at that. 32 gigs. 10 years ago, this was $80. 
Today is probably like five bucks. Razor blades. Some earplugs. Sharpie. I don't know what that is. A lock, and I think that's the combination, so we'll figure it out. Some little bungee cords. Is this a potato masher or something? And then a lot of knives. Um, and some like gold screws. I think I found five of these little pocket knives. They're like cheapos, but you know, clean them up, donate them or something. Alrighty, so let's zoom out. Do you see this thing? It's the gimbal. Does that on wide angles. Alrighty, so all that is trash. It's like 15 bags of trash. Um, I think I got about two bucks and change. A bunch of food that hasn't even been opened. Just more and more trash. Um, and yeah. And then these are like the only clothes that I consider salvageable. The rest I've thrown away. All right. So I didn't really get shots of me cleaning it out because I don't really want to be filming while I'm cleaning this stuff out. And then like having to like touch the camera, which is currently my phone um, and everything else. And so, you know, it's just me picking up trash. And I mean, there's a lot of like poop and stuff in there, like dog poop. I think they used to probably keep their dog in there because uh, there's like a ton of dog hair at the very bottom. Um, and then there's like boxes of uh, pedigree dog food that has never been opened. Um, I'm going to throw it all away. I think it's probably still fine. A lot of this stuff's not even expired. Some of it like expired like last year. Some of it doesn't expire till next year. So, but I don't know. There's just something about it. I can't, can't get past the disgustingness of the food part. Um, so I'm actually going to open up the bags and then like back here is like our compost anything pile. And so we throw like meat and bones and stuff like that back there. Um, and you know, the flies take over it, but it all gets composted and then it doesn't go into the um, landfill. So anyways, like I said, 15-ish bags of trash. Got a lot of little shopping bags. So I, four or five of those are one. Um, four large bags of recyclables. I probably got a trash full bag of clothes that are in you know, decent enough condition to wash and sanitize and donate. Um, if anything, I mean, after you like kind of wash and bleach them, I don't know, I'm under the shade right now, so it probably looks bad, but it's hot. Um, they can be used as, you know, rags and stuff. And so, you know, those like metal bins that you see around that you kind of just like dump clothes in, that's usually, they just take those, they kind of like clean them up, they chop them up and then they become like oil rags and stuff like that. Um, or they're shipped overseas. And so they usually, they're not going to end up in Americans' hands unless they're wiping up oil or something like that. Um, so I'm going to wash them and then throw them in there versus taking them to like Goodwill or something. Um, and um, so, and that's usually what I do. Like when it's like really disgusting stuff, I put it in those bins because that's usually where they go is to be wiping rags and then if it's in good condition you know we take it to goodwill or the humane society or something else you know whatever's closest um but yeah so that's kind of where we're at today um i spent about three hours collecting all of that i'm tired of being in there it's getting hot which is even worse in there um and i, I don't know if it's just mentally but i feel like i can smell it so i mean i've already showered changed over and everything but now it's time to get to the farm and my neighbor actually just called me, so I'm about to go over and get the uh, subsoiler slash ripper, hook it up to the tractor, and then start ripping up all of this very hard clay, caliche soil-based stuff in my bob. Anyways, that's it. Just to update everyone on kind of where we're at on this garbage can. And um, yeah, that's it. See you on a better video of you know non-garbage stuff soon. Ish, probably not. <laughs>